Hi guys, this is Joe here with the chicken chatting at plan for today. That is a chicken, three quarter of a kilo, grated coconut there, spices. Uh, we got bay leaf, we got uh, maize, uh, which is a uh, javi tree, right? And then we got uh, bay leaf, as I mentioned earlier, some cloves, black pepper. Uh, we got uh, coriander seed as well as uh, fennel seed. Oh, sorry, cumin seed and fennel seed, uh, coriander seed, uh, cardamom, uh, cinnamon, as well as a uh, stone flower there, right? All these spice names, man. Okay, all right. So there's a lot of spices there. Uh, star anise is also um, needed. Uh, so as you can see, that's the star anise. I added a bit of that. So uh, lots of these spices together with uh, some dried chili, as well as uh, uh, some grated coconut. All of these will go into the spice mixture later. So to prepare the chicken, to marinate the chicken, I'm adding some salt. Uh, some uh, turmeric powder and also uh, some uh, yogurt now the yogurt is uh, you can use either lemon or yogurt to give it a bit of that uh, sourness as well as to get rid of the uh, chicken smell all right so you can use your hand to nicely mix them in a pot uh, so that uh, a pot such as you can see here uh, to, to, to uh, mix them up nicely with the chicken uh, set it aside uh, the longer you set it aside the better it is of course you know so, uh, so from a, for uh, half an hour to about two three hours you can keep uh, this uh, marinade uh, ready uh, while you prepare your uh, masala or uh, spice mixture the spice mixture are composed of whatever ingredients that I showed you earlier so you dry roast it, you put it on a frying pan you can see some smoke coming out you should be very careful not to overheat or over uh, saute this right? so just a dry roast you can um, uh, give it a few say 30-40 seconds, keep an eye on the uh, flame and uh, towards the end of it put some grated coconut uh, until uh, and, and keep uh, mixing it with your um, what do you call it uh, what's the word for it uh, <laughs> with your uh, not spoon um, yeah basically mix it with uh, uh, until it becomes like a golden brown and uh, uh, stop before it becomes too bitter if you uh, leave it if you dry fry it for a long time or dry sort it long time or dry toast it long time it will become very bitter so so like this color you see a light brown take the mixture and put it in a grinder and you can uh, uh, as, as you can see here from the prime frying pan into the grinder uh, and uh, there are a few options I'm thinking of in the future also here in here you can see I'm doing a dry grinding dry powder form which I'll add later to the chicken uh, mixture but uh, some uh, people uh, make it a wet paste right uh, and also when we marinate the chicken earlier you can also prepare this spice mix much earlier and mix it up with the chicken in the marinade itself uh, again that's something that I'm gonna experiment in the future I think it might give a better taste uh, ultimately so the mixed uh, uh, spices earlier we had I think about uh, 8 to 10 spices just now uh, each of it uh, uh, from <coughs> 1 to 2 uh, teaspoonful right uh, and then uh, see you can see the total sum of the mix here and then you, you get some other ingredients like tomato uh, shallots uh, curry leaves and some more uh, dried uh, chili to saute uh, because this mixture uh, put in some oil hit the wok and then um, some jeera has been added uh, so we will put all these uh, shallots, tomato, uh, curry leaf just now. We're going to saute it in this wok and then we will add in chicken to this uh, mixture. Okay, the, the chicken that we prepared earlier, uh, that we had marinated earlier, we're going to add. And then we're going to mix and... Uh, uh, yeah, the word is spatula. I remember earlier I was looking for the word. Uh, yeah, so you're going to use a spatula to uh, mix it all up nicely in the wok. Uh, so these aromatics, this tomato, uh, all this will uh, get mixed with the chicken. And then uh, we're going to like uh, boil it for a while. And then we're going to add the masala that we had prepared earlier. So as I mentioned, uh, whether to marinate the masala with the chicken at the very beginning together with the uh, yogurt and uh, uh, turmeric powder uh, is something that will experiment in the future. Uh, the other option is to make the mixture wet, uh, meaning that when you're, when you're grinding it just now in the, in the mixer, you should use some water as well so that you get a paste-like uh, structure. So here you can see I'm zooming in on me sauteing the uh, onion and the curry leaves uh, and tomato will go in and then the chicken will go into the mix uh, so if, if you uh, mix uh, the the masala early with the chicken uh, I think then the juices might be better absorbed so we're mixing tomato here with some dried chilies uh, together with onions all of them are getting nicely sauteed chicken is gonna be, be put inside there the marinated chicken earlier 
and then uh, we will add on the masala to 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 the whole uh, mix okay so uh, you adjust the flame accordingly you can uh, go higher or lower so here you can see i've put in the chicken and mix it up i have with the spatula so the whole mixture is boiling but uh, uh, so so now we are adding the the dry in in my case i made a dry masala mix or spice mix so uh, i'm putting it uh, on the chicken and i have to now nicely mix it all up using the uh, spatula so that it, it blends well and then I have to add a bit of hot uh, sorry a bit of water uh, so that um, everything gets uh, cooked nicely right so because you want your chicken to be well cooked otherwise uh, uh, it will be some kind of uh, you know raw raw chicken so uh, so here you can see me mixing it uh, since I'm holding the phone uh, I'm not mixing it so vigorously but uh, uh, later uh, as we continue doing it I add some chili powder here for, for a bit if you want more spicy you can chili powder and after a nice mix some water is added and then you can let the thing uh, you know close close the lid and then let it heat for another five to ten minutes once it's done there here you go guys chetina chicken gravy uh, give your comments i will do more modified versions in the future